There's no denying, Iroh and Nozai are two of the most powerful firebenders of all time. But how do their skills match up head to head? Even if I did defeat Ozai, and I don't know that I could. Could Iroh's versatility outmatch Ozai's relentless strength? Or does power outweigh wisdom? In order to figure that out, we need a flashback to their childhood years. Back when their father, Azulon, was Fire Lord, Iroh and Ozai grew up in a time of aggressive firebending. We know that fire is the element of will, and it's powered by one's drive. But back then, firebenders focused their power on destruction and aggression, a trait Ozai possessed in spades. Come on out, Avatar! You can't hide in there forever! Ozai's passion might have stemmed from jealousy. Iroh is heir to the Fire Lord throne, and Ozai yearned for that birthright. Regardless, Ozai's internal fire impressed and frightened his brother. Iroh began to distance himself from Ozai as they got older. And so, the distance between these brothers provided a path for Iroh to learn new skills. By this point, Iroh and Ozai were already extremely powerful firebenders, but Iroh always knew there was more to the element. Fire wasn't always the element of anger and destruction, but the original ways had been lost in history. Iroh traveled the world and studied benders from across different nations. He learned to incorporate other elemental styles into his own firebending, while Ozai stayed in the Fire Nation and focused his training in the traditional style. It is important to draw wisdom from many different places. If we take it from only one place, it becomes rigid and stale. Understanding others, the other elements, and the other nations will help you become whole. So just how powerful did these two brothers become? Well, for starters, they were both powerful enough to generate lightning, which is already a highly advanced technique. There is energy all around us. The energy is both yin and yang, positive energy and negative energy. Only a select few firebenders can separate these energies. This creates an imbalance. The energy wants to restore balance, and in the moment, the positive and negative energy come crashing back together. You provide release and guidance, creating lightning. But Iroh found a way to make it even more powerful. He can generate and redirect lightning. As he studied the waterbenders, he noticed how they redistribute energy throughout their body. If you let the energy in your own body flow, the lightning will follow it. You must create a pathway from your fingertips, up your arm to your shoulder, then down into your stomach. The stomach is the source of energy in your body. It is called the Sea of Chi. Only in my case, it is more like a vast ocean. <laughs> From the stomach, you direct it up again and out the other arm. The stomach detour is critical. You must not let the lightning pass through your heart, where the damage could be deadly. But Ozai can't redirect lightning, or at least we've never seen him attempt it. And as far as we know, he never studied any bending styles outside of fire. Ozai's ignorance towards the other elements puts him at a major disadvantage. Iroh taught the redirection technique to his nephew, Prince Zuko, who in turn passed it down to Avatar Aang. Iroh had inadvertently sabotaged Ozai's biggest power move. If Ozai and Iroh fought one-on-one, -on -one, it's safe to assume there would be a similar outcome. Remember, Iroh's philosophy was to study and adapt to the other elements. He understood the meaning of balance and what made the Avatar so powerful. Even though he obviously wasn't the Avatar, Iroh knew the benefit of studying other nations' cultures and bending styles. It is the combination of the four elements in one person that makes the Avatar so powerful. But it can make you more powerful too. It's a huge advantage for Iroh, but it may be his only one-up on Ozai. We may have never gotten to see Ozai and Iroh fight directly, but in a way, we already have. What are you doing here? You mean it's not obvious yet? I am about to celebrate becoming an only child! 
If we take a closer look at Zuko and Azula, all of Ozai's and Iroh's teachings were passed down to both of them. Azula grew up training under her father. She became a prodigy and advanced much faster than her older brother. She's a true prodigy, just like her grandfather for whom she's named. You'll never catch up. Zuko, on the other hand, traveled the world with his uncle. He learned from Iroh's wisdom and experience along the way. Excellent form, Prince Zuko. You taught me well. Zuko also met the firebending masters Ran and Shaw, just like Iroh did a long time ago. Zuko's journey paralleled his uncle's in many ways, and Azula seemed to be the apple of Ozai's eye. Their parallels were put on full display when Sozin's comet arrived. During their Agni Kai, Azula must have used everything she learned from Ozai. And Zuko did similarly, applying many lessons he learned from Iroh. With the amplified power of Sozin's Comet, it was one of the greatest bending displays of all time. can't say who would have won had Katara not been there, just like we'll never actually know if Iroh could have taken down Ozai. Iroh himself was unsure if he was capable of beating Ozai, which is why it was always meant for the Avatar to defeat the Fire Lord. Even if I did defeat Ozai, and I don't know that I could, it would be the wrong way to end the war. History would see it as just more senseless violence, a brother killing a brother to grab power. The only way for this war to end peacefully is for the Avatar to defeat the Fire Lord. And then, then would you come and take your rightful place on the throne? No. Someone new must take the throne. An idealist with a pure heart and unquestionable honor. It has to be you, Prince Zuko. Unquestionable honor? But I've made so many mistakes. Yes, you have. You struggled, you suffered. But you have always followed your own path. You restored your own honor. And only you can restore the honor of the Fire Nation. I'll try, Uncle. That wraps out this skill evolution comparison of General Iroh and Fire Lord Ozai. Which benders should we break down next? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for all things Avatar. This city is a prison. I don't want to make a life here. Life happens wherever you are, whether you make it or not.